What's up, ballers? Welcome back to another Big J Basketball box break video. Today we're doing some 1920 Crown Royale basketball hobby box. Picked this up from my LCS. Um, paid a little more than I wanted to. Uh, it's still less than what Blowout's charging, which I think is around 200 a box, which I, I think is too much. Um, so again, I, I still paid a little bit more than I would have liked for this, um, but figured why not give it a shot. Um, there's one auto and one memorabilia per box on average, only eight cards per box. So we're gonna slow roll this one. So if anybody hates slow roll, just speed up your video or uh, skip to the end for the uh, uh, recap that we'll do. The Kaboom inserts, which is a case hit. So only one box, so probably not a huge chance of getting that case hit. Um, here's what you can get on the back here. So tons of stuff numbered all the way down to one of one. Um, so let's hope we get a nice, uh, rookie patch auto or something like that out of here. Um, and just a reminder to everyone, uh, we're getting really close to 400 subscribers. So thank you so much to everybody that's been watching and subscribing. Um, at 400, we're going to do our next giveaway, which again is going to be the double Zions. So the, uh, hoops tribute rookie and the Don Russ base rookie, both of these are going to go to the winner of that 400 subscriber giveaway. And one thing I, I wanna mention that uh, I haven't mentioned before, if you are international, if you're outside of the continental uh, uh, 48 states in the United States, um, I'm gonna need uh, you know to, to chip in for shipping. If you don't wanna chip in and pay any shipping, it'll go to the next person who's within the continental US. Um, but the last two giveaways I did were both won by people outside the US and I paid a pretty penny to ship those cards, probably, Paid more to ship them than the cards were even worth. So again, if, if, if whoever wins these, if you're outside the U.S., uh, just make sure, you know, I am going to be looking for a little bit of help on the shipping cost just because, you know, I do this for fun for you guys. Um, I don't make any money doing this. Uh, this is just kind of for entertainment, and I like doing the giveaways to give out some free cards to people. But again, I can't. It's going to be tough if I'm, you know, paying things to ship internationally every time I do a giveaway. So... Something to keep in mind when we do the next giveaway at 400 subscribers, which will be coming very soon. In the back here, uh, Instagram, Big J Basketball. Make sure to give that a follow if you haven't yet. We've got more Kobe's in the back there, hopefully giving us some good luck. Uh, relic card. It's funny that the yellow jersey has a purple relic and the purple jersey has a yellow relic. Um, both Court Kings cards. I really love the look of Court Kings. I, I'm excited for the 1920 new court kings to come out um i know court kings isn't everyone's favorite but i always uh have loved the way that those cards looked always a little more a little bit more like a work of art rather than uh just a, a picture on a basketball card okay so again only time i'm going to be open uh, opening crown royale so i'm not a hundred percent sure the way these are set up so like i said we're going to slow roll it and I'll try to save the big hits for the end, but again, not sure what order the cards are in to see if I'll be getting the, the big hits at the beginning or at the end. So let's see if we can squeeze all these in here without revealing too much. So there are a couple thick cards in there. Let's go ahead and pull the first one out. Uh, you know, let's do the first two. I think these are both base cards. So we got a Porzingis base and a Luka Simonic rookie base. It'd be nice to get the other Luka, but at least we got a base rookie. So we'll put these both out here. Next card. Again, not quite sure of the order. We got a Wendell Carter Jr. This is a gold. Is this a numbered parallel? No. Not numbered, um, just a gold parallel. You see a little, little bit of the cracked ice in the background. Next card. This is a King's Court insert. Jimmy Butler, Tyler Hero, and Goran Dragic, numbered 32 of 49. So nice numbered card there. Uh, insert King's Court. So that's four cards down, four cards to go. Uh, what do we got next? 
Wendari Weatherspoon, Heirs to the Throne. So this is probably our memorabilia card. So not numbered, uh, pretty standard white relic. I seem to pull a lot of Gwendari Weatherspoon stuff. <laughs> All right, a couple cards left. So we, there should still be an autograph in here. Let's see what we got next. Actually, you know what? I think that's our auto. We'll pull these two bottom cards out first. These might be base cards. Yeah, so we got Kevin Porter Jr., rookie. And one more base card, and then I think that auto will be our last card. DeMar DeRozan, base card. So there's base cards, and let's see who our auto is. Let's see if we can figure out who this is. Number 137. Chicago Bulls, is it maybe Kobe White? Let's just turn on and find out. All right, Kobe White, not too bad. Number to 199, so it's not one of the super short print ones. Um, it's an on-card auto, which is nice. Uh, standard red relic, 147 of 199, although I do see the, the breaks I've been seeing so far of Crown Royale all seem to have the same problem. The corners are not really in great shape here. You can see it's Pretty damaged in the corner there. And they are not sure if it's worth sending this back to Panini, but looks like these cards aren't gonna grade very well. So if you wanna buy these to grade, you might be in trouble. Um, but not bad, Kobe White's a good rookie, on-card rookie patch auto. Uh, so it's nice that both of our mem cards were rookies. Uh, let's do a quick recap here. So the two base vet cards we got were DeRozan and Porzingis. We got a couple rookies. Uh, Kevin Porter Jr. and Luka Samanic. Samanic, Samanic, not sure what, what way to pronounce that. Uh, next two cards were the gold parallel of Wendell Carter Jr., which again, I don't believe was numbered. I didn't see a number on there. <clears throat> and the uh, Tyler Hero, Jimmy Butler, Goran Dragic, 32 of 49. And then the first mem card was the unnumbered Quindari Weatherspoon, which is the plain white relic. And then the Kobe White uh, rookie patch auto uh, silhouettes numbered 147 of 199. So overall, not the best break. Um, again, still, I'm glad I didn't pay too much for this. Uh, 200 bucks a box is, is pretty rough. Um, but again, I still really like the look of these cars. They're nice and unique. I like the die cuts. I like all the different uh, uh, numbered uh, parallels and all kinds of stuff. So... Still a fun break. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it and we'll see you soon on the next video.